Hi everyone! In this video of phrasal verbs, we will be focusing on six new phrasal verbs from the book Phrasal Verbs with Pictures. We will uh, analyze their meanings, make some sentences, do some exercises, and lastly, watch some movie scenes where these phrasal verbs are used. Before we start, please remember that this video comes with subtitles in many languages, and yours can be one of them. You can go to the setting and activate subtitles anytime you want. So, if you're ready, sit back and enjoy the class. All right, well, here is a list of today's phrasal verbs. Buckle up, bump into, burn down, burst into, call back, call for. Let's get started with the first one. Buckle up has one meaning, which is to fasten something. When you buckle up in a car or a plane, you fasten your seatbelt. Nice. Let's make a sentence with it. I can't even dare to drive even a short distance without buckling up. Okay, bump into has two different meanings. First, to meet someone by chance. Second, to crash into someone or something by accident. We can see the example for both of them in this drawing from the book. Today, I bumped into my high school teacher, Mr. Todd. Oh, how is he? Is he okay? Uh, he will be. Burn down means to burn something completely. If a building burns down or if someone burns it down, it is completely destroyed by fire. Let's give an example. We watched helplessly as our house burned down despite the firefighters' efforts. Burst into means to suddenly begin doing something. For example, if you burst into tears, laughter, or song, you suddenly begin to cry, laugh, or sing. Look at this example. She burst into tears without any specific reason and ran from the classroom. <laughs> call back means to return a telephone call. If you call someone back, you telephone them again or in return for a telephone call that they have made to you. For example, If I'm not around, my secretary will take a message and I'll call you back. Call for means to demand or require something. If something calls for a particular action, it needs it or makes it necessary. Here is an example. It's a situation that calls for a blend of uh, delicacy and force. And here is a quick summary. Buckle up to fasten something. Bump into to meet someone by chance, to crash into someone or something by accident. Burn down, to burn something completely. Burst into, to suddenly begin doing something. Call back, to return a telephone call. Call for, to demand or require something. Okay, cool. Now that we are done with all six phrasal verbs in this unit, it's time to do some exercises. <laughs> We are going to solve one of each four different types of exercises in the book. Uh, multiple choice, fill in the blanks, synonym, and translation. Great! Let's get started. Your answers to these exercises go in the comments. So, how about seeing these phrasal verbs in action? 
wouldn't it be awesome to see people use them in actual dialogues? Well, I do think so, and that's why I compiled scenes from different films where they are used firsthand. So with no further ado, let's get on with it. Heating control, FedEx 88. Broadcasting in the blind. Buckle up, Chuck. How do you get bumpy. Baymax and I can take this guy! Oh. Oh. Seatbelts save lives. Buckle up every time. Stand back! Alright, boys, buckle up! Marty, have you interacted with anybody else today besides me? I'm. Yeah, well, I might have sort of bumped into my parents. Great Scott! Well, thanks. Nice talking to you. Maybe we'll bump into each other sometime again in the future. Or in the past. Oh, nobody! The hell are my key? Oh, here they are. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to give you a concert there. <laughs> no, that wasn't you. That guy bumped into my feet when he walked by. Burns down the houses they live in and the stores they work in. He kills people that owe them money. And like that, he's gone. Don't you remember you gave me detention last week? Last week. The school burned down six years ago. Now you got exactly three seconds to get off my porch with your nuts intact. One. Ah! Did you like him, Dan? No. He told me you burnt down your barn. She burst into the dressing room, she took all the money and ran out! You need to clear your subconscious and watch what you think about. Nothing crazy. Right. Like having your crotch burst into flames. <laughs> because he didn't knock? Yes, Miss Johnson. I'm trying to teach these children how to live in the world. And in the world, you just don't burst into someone's office. Phone call. Yeah, well, you have to tell him to call him back. He is indisposed at the moment. His mama said. Alice Fromm, a follower of Charles Manson, better known as Squeaky, attempted to assassinate the president as he was shaking hands. He pays his lawyer, but the lawyer hasn't called back yet. Now, who's the lawyer? He didn't know the name. Just had a number on the card. Detective Jefferson. May I help you? I'll call you back. Get out. Go to hell. Squeal. Oskiliath is under attack. They call for reinforcements. Send out riders, my lord. You must call for aid. Okay, if you want to see all these phrasal verbs in their unique drawings and do many more of these exercises, you can always go ahead and buy the book by using the links in the descriptions. The book is also offered as a mobile app so you can have it wherever you are on Earth. If you need some more information about the book, please check out the introduction video. Back over there. Yeah, up, up, up there, back there. Got it. Oh, and don't forget to click on the like button if you like this video. Bye!